Well, the battle to secure a studio and sound space in Hollywood has gotten more intense as streamers, including the likes, uh, the likes of Apple and Netflix, compete to return to spending money on production. That's been a big boost. The businesses uh, for the likes of real estate investment trusts focus on that space, including the likes of Hudson Pacific Properties, a REIT with a portfolio of office and studio properties totaling nearly 20 million square feet. The company, along with Blackstone, recently announced plans to add to that a collection of spaces with a 240,000 square foot project, which boasts a seven film and TV ready sound stages. And for more on that, happy to welcome into the program the CEO of Hudson Pacific, uh, Victor Coleman, here with us. Uh, and Victor, I mean, we've seen this push really uh, kind of intensifying in the recovery here in the pandemic. I mean, talk to me about why building this out now and what you're expecting to see there. Well, great, great to be here, Zach. Thank you. Um, you know, listen, the, the push is really based on a content drive. And it was a show to show business for many, many years. And now it's, you know, obviously credit rated companies from the old guard studios all the way to the new streaming companies that all need access to space, both domestically here in the United States and other places around the world. And, you know, obviously Hollywood is still the king of uh, entertainment. And, and as a result, Los Angeles is, is, a, is a driver. We've not seen new studios built in a long time. And the demand is as high as it's ever been. Yeah, and I mean, in regards to that, I assume it would make your guys' uh, job easier if you do have, as you said, better rated companies coming in here and trying to use the spaces and how that all looks. But I mean, when it comes to the demand that you've seen increase as production has come on, give me a sense of, of how quickly it's bounced back and what you're expecting to see. Well, as you well know, I mean, it, it, early on in the pandemic, content was, was, was zero in terms of the production. And then they, they ramped it up late last summer, almost a year ago now. It was August of last year that they started ramping it up. And so they basically have, you know, almost a full year of backlog that they got to get out on the content side. And, you know, uh, uh, we're talking almost $100 billion of content creation. Um, that is going to be coming out to the marketplace over a 12 month period. And that that is up precipitously since uh, the prior years. And then you've got, as I said, a backlog of six to 12 months of production at the same time. And so th this is going to be going for the next few years, at least you're going to see a lot of a lot of dollars put out and a lot of production um, streaming through all different content players. Yeah, I mentioned the expansion plans there uh, in L.A., but when you think about where else you could be expanding, uh, you mentioned uh, expansion plans in the U.K., other areas of production. I mean, what are you seeing in terms of how much effort is going to be placed into those projects and, I guess, the early fruit? So, listen, I think that there's key markets that are very, very sticky um, in the production world. And those are, as we mentioned, Los Angeles or New York, it's Vancouver, it's Toronto, it's the UK. And then there's second tier markets that are going to be driven based on tax um, um, incentives or aspects around that. And as, as a result, you're going to find um, uh, people are going to gravitate to longer term leasing and longer term productions um, in those key markets. And then shorter term, which is more uh, feature films or uh, individual series, it's some of the second tier markets. But right now, I mean, the demand is so high, people are looking to anywhere they can get production um, content and and uh, and the talent around that, which is key because talent is everything, you know, both in front and behind the camera. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the tax benefits side too. We had, uh, you know, uh, the the state uh, assemblyman behind the push here to kind of keep those tax advantages there in Hollywood. We've talked about, uh, you know, other places that have popped up for production, including Georgia and other states as well. I mean, how how do you guys follow those things in terms of where you should be building some of these projects, and how do you see that shaping up as the competition there, uh, not just on the studio side of companies trying to find the best places to film and the best talent as you're talking about, but also best tax incentives on the likes of where you should be building these projects? Well, you know, we're looking for purpose-built facilities. So this is going to be a long-term facility for us, um, both in California and the UK and the other ones that we're building around um, in our core markets. So it, it, tax incentives are great on the construction side, which California just put into place, uh, which was that new bill that you just referred to on both the construction and then also on the production side. But, you know, you're looking at when I call purpose-built, this is quality real estate for long-term, uh, you know, production facilities. This is not conversion of industrial short-term. And I think, you know, the, the, the tax boom is going to be part and parcel of the content companies looking for reasons to sort of stay close to home or close to the markets that they, that they know are the sticky markets to continue to grow in. Also, bringing Blackstone on board uh, with this particular project, you know, uh, I assume a lot of people might be wondering if, if more is expected there and what kind of uh, benefits that partnership might 
might bring to the table. I mean, what does that maybe change about the way that your company looks at maybe building some of this stuff out and how big of a boost it could be for future projects? Yeah, Blackstone's been a fantastic partner of mine for many, many years, and uh, this is just um, a, another another sort of continual relationship driver for us to, for us to you know move forward in this specific area. You know, their their desire uh, in the studio business on the on on the construction side, on the existing facilities, um, and the the overall media growth is really where where that driver is. Um, you know, our intent is to grow our portfolio collectively with them, um, our our brand, which is our Sunset Studios brand, with them and continually uh, look for unique alternatives uh, that are going to fit perfectly within our, our mutual desires to, to build that brand and build our portfolio out. All right, Hudson Pacific Properties CEO, Victor Coleman, appreciate you coming on here to chat with us about the demand there out in Hollywood. Enjoy the sunshine, man. Be well. We'll chat again soon.